Welcome back to Tech Tutorial Expert. Your one and only platform for comprehensive setup guide and troubleshooting setup issue. If you're in trouble then come in our channel you find the great and informative videos. In today's video we will talk about the various steps of TP-Link RE220 extender installation process that make your setup process easier and faster. Setting up a TP-Link RE220 Wi-Fi range extender involves a few steps. In this video we will cover each and every steps that is necessary to do setup process. Firstly we start with the unboxing giving you the cleanest review of the product that what comes in the packet. Inside the TP-Link RE220 extender box, you'll find the main device itself. Along with it, there is a quick installation guide, a small booklet that provides easy-to-follow instructions for setting up the extender. Additionally, you'll find a warranty card. So without wasting time let's start the setup process. Firstly we will do the manual setup. Ensure you have your main Wi-Fi network name, SSID, and password handy. Place the RE220 in a location close to your router for initial setup. Plug the RE220 into a power outlet and wait for the power LED to light up. On your computer or mobile device, go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the TP-Link extender's default network, e.g., TP-Link underscore extender. Open a web browser according to your choice and go to http colon slash slash tplinkrepeater.net or 192.168.0.254. Create a new password for the extender or enter the default username and password, usually both are admin. Follow the on-screen instructions to select your existing Wi-Fi network and enter its password. Choose to either keep the same SSID for the extended network or create a new one. Once the setup is complete, the extender will reboot, and you can place it in an optimal location between your router and the area where you need a stronger signal. Place the extender halfway between your router and the area where you need better Wi-Fi coverage. The signal LED should be solid blue or green for the best performance. That's how you can easily set up your extender. Let's move on the next setup process that is WPS method. WPS setup is the most safest and easiest way to set up the TP-Link extender. So let's start the setup process. First step is same as the manual setup. Plug the RE220 into a power outlet and wait for the power LED to light up. Place your extender and router in the same place. Press the WPS button on your router. Within 2 minutes, press the WPS button on the TP-Link RE220 extender. The RE220 signal LED will turn solid blue or green, indicating a successful connection. This may take a couple of minutes. Now your TP-Link RE220 extender setup is complete. I